You saw the, the statistics flash on the screen there just a second ago, 645 horsepower continuous, uh, up to 560 kilometers of range out of a 750 kilowatt battery pack, and you can recharge that with a 350 kilowatt charger like we have here at this facility in a couple of hours, about, about two hours. It's a beautiful, capable machine targeted toward metropolitan, local, short regional applications. Behind this curtain, uh, for the first time, unveiled to the world, the Nikola Trey fuel cell electric vehicle. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> you, first feel, you will first notice the similarities. It's the same platform. In fact, we can build both of these vehicles on this line. This line will be capable of producing either vehicle at any time. Also, the sister plant in Arizona and the United States will have the same capability. So this vehicle is using many of the same components. It's the same drivetrains, another 645 horsepower. But this has hydrogen on board to extend the range. Uh, 560 kilometers is a long way to go with batteries with a fully loaded heavy truck. If you, got to, if you want to go farther and carry a full load, then we turn to hydrogen, the lightest fuel uh, by, by weight in the, in the universe that's non-nuclear. So that's got hydrogen on board to go 800 kilometers, 800 kilometers range with this, and refueling not in two hours, which is great for a battery electric vehicle, by the way, refueling in 20 minutes, same as a diesel. This is, this is a great truck when you have to go intercity, where you have to go long regional a lot further. But it's only the beginning because we have other vehicles coming. Um, the Nikola 2 will go even farther, but you'll have to wait for that one. We have not only the vehicles, but, and we can't show you this here today, but going on around the world right now is the assembling of an infrastructure that will provide charging for battery electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel for hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. Uh, we've, you've, you've seen us announce in the United States and North America partnerships with Arizona Public Service. Uh, we have a partnership with APS for uh, two decades of electric service to produce hydrogen at a cost-effective price com comparable to diesel for the entire American Southwest. You heard us announce a deal with Wabash Valley Resources in the American Midwest, going to make very uh, cost-effective hydrogen, competitive with diesel for the Midwestern area from petroleum coke with capturing of the carbon and deep geologic sequestration of the carbon permanently. So very low carbon intensity sources of our hydrogen uh, that we're assembling through the APS and Wabash Valley Resources Agreement. Uh, Travel Centers of America is a, is a, uh, a truck stop operator in North America that we partnered with to provide dispensing locations for hydrogen fuel trucks in North America, and we'll be announcing locations for those dispensing uh, stations in the very near future. Here in Europe, we've announced a partnership with OGE, one of the largest pipeline providers uh, in Europe and in Germany, especially here, uh, where for very cost-effective distribution of clean hydrogen for distribution to our hydrogen electric vehicles here in, in Europe. That is combined also with a sales and service network of dealers, the Aveco network here in, in uh, Europe and in North America, we're assembling a powerful network of very capable dealers who will sell and service and support our vehicles, which is also very important. So it's not just about the vehicles, not just about the manufacturing, but it's about the energy and the ecosystem all together. Well, when, we, when we formed this joint venture, we agreed on some principles. We said that we will be open and transparent and, and one team and that the, we, we will move at startup speed. We'll move at startup speed. And we have done that. In two years, we have constructed one brownfield, one greenfield plant in two hemispheres and two vehicles, the second of which will be unveiled to the world today. Two, two vehicles, two facilities in two years. It's amazing. We only did it by being one team and moving fast.
few insights on the site. Why, why Ulm? Yeah? And, and Ulm was chosen not only because of its long-standing heritage as uh, you know, a truck manufacturing site for um, Iveco, but also we have all the suppliers around us in a two hours driving distance. And during COVID times, although we made that choice in 2000, February 2020, where the COVID thing was not exactly clearly understood, but in the end it played out quite nicely to have that regional proximity with our suppliers sitting right neatly located in the hydrogen clusters of, of Germany and in Europe. Huh? So this has been quite important to deliver this project. Plus the heavy duty truck engineering has always been, a great deal of them have always been in Ulm. The test track is here, the proto shop is here, and I'm proud to have added a new word to the English dictionary, which is called Musterbau. So finally, the, the word Mustabau has entered the English language for a proto shop, if you will. And I think that is another con, uh, addition we've done. Um, we started in September 2019 as CNH Industrial at the New York Stock Exchange, where we announced the spin off of the on highway business, which is now going to be called Iveco Group, as well as uh, the partnership with Nicola, where we wanted to disrupt uh, the transportation. And what you're going to see today, we absolutely deliver on that plan. That was when the journey started, pretty much two years ago. The next step was uh, 100 days later, where we presented this beautiful maquette that mo most of you have taken a picture from. But this is actually uh, 18 months old, and I think in the startup world, 18 months is an eternity. We used that uh, in order to convey what we want to become, the disruption and the transformation we want to embark on with the partners here in the room, with Nicola, all of the ecosystem of charging and refueling of hydrogen uh, transportation. And we had a great, great event um, in Turin. Uh, in December 2019. First, still under normal conditions. So, um, another 100 days later, where you are today, this is the look how this uh, manufacturing site looked like after we started to dismantle it. So when you want to know well, how it looked like before, we don't even have a picture here, but you can imagine this was a dark hall with basically two floors. The floor you can see there on the left was basically running through the entire factory where you had sub-assemblies underneath and the old truck production was on top. So we had to take this place totally apart and we announced uh, those 100 days later um, that Ulm is going to become the place for making, producing these zero emission heavy duty trucks. And I will talk more about Ulm in, a, in the next session. Another 100 days later, FPT Industrial delivered the first of its kind, um, co-engineered with Nikola and with the help of Bosch, a 1,100 horsepower Reaxle. So now you may wonder why, why that much. Well, this is what comes with electrification, right? It scales quite quickly. So we're not going to launch it with that, light, with that power, but it should have about 600. And later, when you have the drive on the test track, it still is, is rated at that power. So we can't have you drive the truck, but someone will drive it for you with traction control, obviously. That happened just 100 days later. Another 100 days later, we put the axle and all the components that we had sourced from our supply base, and we have taken from our Iveco S-Way parts bin, um, we have built job number one. And job number one turned the wheels in, that was September, was a year ago, uh, where we had it on the, on the test bench here, and some of you were here have seen it already at that time. Another 100 days later, we built actually you know, more than five of those. Eventually, by now, we have built more than 14 prototypes, and this is the shipment of the first vehicles uh, to the US, to Phoenix. The first picture actually showed the truck on the racetrack in Phoenix. I'm sure you have all seen these pictures on LinkedIn and other social media. And you know, that is the battery electric version. And another 100 days later, Bosch supplied us with a fuel cell stack, with the, with the first fuel cell model module that enabled us to work on the vehicle integration uh, with our engineers and, and make sure that we are also accelerating on the fuel cell range extension uh, version uh, of the long haul heavy duty trucking. Another 100 days later, we did a bit of ribbon cutting here and we started to commission the manufacturing stations that are behind us. And another 100 days later, this is today, um, and we are here today to basically officially open the plant uh, for the production of battery electric and fuel cell electric heavy duty trucks in our joint venture 
with Nikola Motors. And look, I mean, there have been so many challenges that were thrown in front of us. I could imagine not of any additional challenge that could have possibly be thrown in our way. And I'm not only talking about the pandemic. Now we have ship shortage, we have battery cells, our scars, and whatever else can possibly happen to us. Regardless, we delivered.